All right, just before I get started, I want to quickly say I learned a really cool, uh, learned a really cool trick, guys. You want to keep space next to you at the urinal in the bathroom, pee like a five-year-old. That's where you take your pants and underwear all the way down to your feet. <laughs> then lift up your shirt and lean into it. <laughs> this works better if you got one of those troughs right in front of you, you know. Guys, can you imagine walking to the bathroom and a grown man was doing that right in front of you? <laughs> you want to talk about space, you won't pee in the same building with that guy, man. man. We can learn from children, we can. Women want to look like children lately. They're shaving the whole, the whole thing, gone. It's because it's got a really cool name, like Brazilian wax. Got a Brazilian, want to see my Brazilian? Ladies, if they really called that what it looks like, no woman would ever get one. <laughs> I got a 10-year-old, want to see my 10-year-old? Check out my 10-year-old, you know. <laughs> Don't really want to see that, actually. No, not into that. Kids don't do everything differently. I was talking to this 16-year-old kid the other day. He was telling me about a date he went on. He said, yeah, I got to second base. Anybody aware we were still using base technology? <laughs> Let me say, I hadn't heard that in like 10 years. Let me see if I even still remember, right? Okay, first base is kissing. Second base is groping. Third base is oral. A home run is sex. And talking to the fat girl so your friend can get laid is a sacrifice. <laughs> uh, is that how it is? <laughs> I don't grow on me, but I support the overweight more than most people do. I actually saw a girl the other day, she had to be at least 350 pounds wearing short shorts. Yeah, and everyone else is making that face. I was the only guy smiling because I appreciate that. She's making a powerful statement to the entire world. She's telling everybody, hey, if I gotta look at this all day, so do you. <laughs> That's just empowering. What you gonna do? Where are my Latinos? Latinos applaud, where are you? Where, let me, where are you here? Oh. Well, quit wearing your jeans in the ocean, because I've had enough of that <laughs> <laughs> You wonder why your kids can't swim? It's because they weigh twice as much as they did before they got in the water now. You know? If I have to evacuate the shoreline one more time because some gordito and <laughs> Levi's <laughs> is drowning in 10 inches of water, <laughs> the lifeguards are betting on that. You should know about it. I've always wondered one thing though, why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? That's not Mexico's Independence Day, did you know that? That's not, that's the day they kicked out, you know, the, the Spanish, that's September 16th. Cinco de Mayo is the day they kicked out the French. And I'm thinking, well, considering the French will surrender to a fireworks display, <laughs> what are you celebrating? That's like bragging you're the tallest Korean dude. I mean, who the hell, you know, consider the rest of the crowd really, you know. Actually, I can tell you why we celebrate Cinco de Mayo, because white people can't pronounce DSA 6 de Septiembre. <laughs> That's a mouthful when you got a couple tequilas in you. I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> oh man, speaking of which, I gotta say, I think we treat different drugs different ways and I don't think that's fair. Like every time you turn on the TV, it's don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive. What about driving stoned? You never hear about that, probably because that is the most boring police chase you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> okay, we're back live on the scene. What happened to the car? Now we just got out and started walking. Uh, we're going on hour number three, and the suspect is going on bean burrito number seven. <laughs> Left turn signal is still on. <laughs> and it remains unclear as to whether or not he will ever leave the driveway. Back to you. <laughs> it's just not a violent drug. <laughs> it is, my brother got busted for that. My brother was away at school for three weeks, and he got a DUI. Pulled over by campus police. <laughs> That's like being arrested by mall security, isn't it? <laughs> Every time, someone, every time he tries to tell that story, they're like, you could have just ran. <laughs> What's he gonna do, throw his flashlight at you? <laughs> Stop or I'll finish my donut. What the hell? That's what bothered me though. He was on a college campus and he's the one they singled out. How drunk do you have to be to be the drunkest guy at college? <laughs> Call them, What's the matter with you? You driving backwards with the arm of a dead hooker hanging out of your trunk? <laughs> Without missing a beat, he goes, nah, dude, she, she wasn't dead. <laughs> ah, there you go. He's not the worst driver in our family, that's, uh, that's me. I've got 12 speeding tickets a lifetime. And I'll tell you why I keep getting busted. I'm not a bad driver, it's just the cops don't drive the same car anymore and I think that's cheating. <laughs> Do you know what to look for? I don't. Don't you love when they put the siren underneath the dashboard instead of on top of the car? I like to call that the transvestite tuck under. <laughs> Thanks for admitting you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they can be driving anything now. Motorcycle, SUV, one time, minivan. No kidding, minivan cop pulled me over. <laughs> On my side of the road, like, okay, what have I done to piss off the soccer mom police? What happened to you? Like, you know why I stopped you? I forgot to take out the trash? What? <laughs> he didn't even write me a ticket, he just gave me a timeout. 
I'm a little bitter about that whole timeout thing. When I was a kid, timeout still meant wait here while I get the belt. Anybody else remember those days, do you? Yeah, you know. I don't know, I think the whole timeout thing started later. I, I, like I say, I shouldn't joke about that because some people are still hitting their kids and too much too. Every year they catch somebody with a surveillance camera, right? Remember that mother that was hitting her daughter in the back of the SUV? Yeah, that was sad, but it shows you how much times have changed. You show that tape to somebody my age, we're like, that woman's crazy. Yeah, show that tape to your grandfather. <laughs> He's like, well, that little girl must have really been mouthing off. <laughs> Jesus. My grandfather actually passed away recently and uh, he was cremated which is a horrible way to die. I wouldn't. That was an awful funeral. I meant afterwards, Grandpa. Don't make this harder, right? <laughs> I love my grandpa, but he was cheap. Cheap. I remember he was trying to explain this to me on his death cot. <laughs> he said, I have coupons and keeled over. That was it. <laughs> he made my mom cheap about certain things, too. She's cheap about food. Anybody else grow up with a mother that doesn't believe in expiration dates? Like, she won't throw away food no matter what is wrong, right? Like, expiration dates are a suggestion to my mother. That's all they are. It's like, if you're ever going to throw away this bologna, may we recommend July 8th. That's it. <laughs> to this day, I can't eat with her. It's like, who wants a piece of milk? I'm good, Ma. Thanks. That's a nice. Yeah. I'm good. You know. I'll tell you another reason I think I get busted for a lot of tickets. is because there's a lot of funny stuff to look at out there. Billboards, bumper stickers. You ever see two signs next to each other that shouldn't be next to each other? Like the city's not paying attention. I saw a drugstore with a Coca-Cola billboard once years ago. The sign, drugs. Billboard, Coke is it. <laughs> and that one's handed right to you. Sometimes you gotta look a little closer. I was working up in Montana because it's going that well. And uh, <laughs> two billboards, one on the left for a church, on the right for a challenge auto parts. Doesn't sound like a problem until you read the two slogans. The one on the left said, save sex till marriage. On the right, everybody loves a challenge. And I swear to you, an Easy Loop truck drove by and I cracked up. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you guys so much.